If you've been watching my videos of late, you know that I had something very delightful happen to me. I bought this bottle of Pappy Van Winkle uh, bourbon in 2009 for $250. Now, just in December of last year, a similar bottle of the same year, of the same quality, of the same barrel, sold for $52,000. So when I say on my thumbnail that I'm going to put 5% of my portfolio into an asset that should give me at least a 30% annualized return on my investment. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the whiskey arbitrage. How did this happen? Well, that's what I want to explain. And then what I want to do is share with you what I'm doing to make it sure that it happens again. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. To understand the whiskey arbitrage, you need to understand that at the end of Prohibition, the United States government basically left it to the states to determine how they would sell alcoholic beverages in their, in their states. Some of them banned it. Uh, Tennessee being one of them, but then they did, in fact, change that at some later date. But still, even today, 17 states basically control the price of liquor that is sold in their in their states. They determine the price, 17. The other 33 states leave it up to the retailer, much as all retailing is. And what has happened is if you have a rare high demand bottle of whiskey, the normal retail situation happens in 30 states. They price it up to whatever they can get for it. So I, as a result of that, in my state and 17 others, the state will determine Determined that the manufactured um, suggested retail price on the next year's Pappy Van Winkle will be three hundred will be two hundred and ninety five dollars. In my state, they will mark that up to three hundred and twenty five. Whereas in the other fifty states, they will mark it up to whatever they can get for it. And history tells me it'll be somewhere in the neighborhood of five to eight thousand dollars per bottle. You heard me right. So let's just walk through this. If I can get into the liquor store and I've signed up for a lottery ticket and I can buy this year's 2022 bottle of Pappy Van Winkle for $295, I would immediately be able to put it into my trunk and drive to New York and sell it for probably somewhere around $7,500. Okay? No, I'm serious. That's the situation. I've discovered this totally by accident. So what I've decided to do was I've gone to the website for um, the, uh, the Alabama um, Liquor Commission, and I've printed their price list. Their price list basically tells me what they're going to sell this this uh, this this what they're going to sell March's new distributions of liquor for. What I've then done is gone back into Google and said, okay, in the past, what have I been a, what what is the going price for these uh, alcoholic beverages? And so. As you can see here on Pappy Van Winkle, uh, their uh, 23-year-old, $329 is going to be my liquor store price. They're going to mark it up from uh, uh, Buffalo Trace's suggested real retail price. But in, in uh, Google tells me that in New York or in California, it'll sell for $6,815. I've gone through and done that for every um, bottle of bourbon or, or whiskey that they're going to sell. What I have discovered 
is that in bourbons, I have a real advantage. Um, my state really keeps them at close to the manufacturer's retail price. Other states escalate the price. If I go to Scotch whiskey, there is not that margin. To give you an idea, uh, another idea, one of them that I am very interested in is Double Eagle, very rare bourbon, 101 proof, 20 year old. Now this is going to be in a decanter. The price on it is going to be uh, $1,999.99. In other words, $2,000. That bottle is so rare that it will immediately sell in the other 30 states for $12,999. So I will be buying it at an 85% discount. Okay? All I got to do is get in there and get it. And it gets better than that. Um... Eagle Rare um, Barrel Bourbon 90 Proof, 17 years old, I can buy for $99. It will immediately go on sale in other states for $1,999. I'm buying it at a 95% discount, and I can turn around and sell it, put it in the trunk of my car, drive to California, and and gather and gain that price. But the other element of it is I can keep it. And I can go into here, and I can create into Google, and I can search for earlier years. I can find the, um, as I said, it'll sell for $19.99. I can find the one that sold in 26 or 2016, and it's currently selling for $2,999. That's my $99 bottle that I wait for, what would that be, seven years, and it turns in to $2,999. Why is that? They only make so many of them. There is a high demand for them. And about half of them will probably be drank in the first year. So it comes down to, again, I believe they made 3,000 bottles of this, okay? I bought it for two fifty. dollars Why is it worth $52,000 because somebody, two guys, were at the Sotheby's auction and they one wanted it worse than the other. For some reason, I don't particularly know. It could be that it has some rarity to it that I'm not aware of. I really don't care. Am I going to sell it? No. Because I believe this will get to $100,000 before Bitcoin. Because, again, there, the 3,000 bottles, will, I know, will diminish to fewer. So that's what I'm doing. Now, why am I sharing this with you? This is a hell of a lot of work, okay? And I am only one person. But what if I could b build a team of people who, who could, I could share my data with, and then they could go to their liquor stores, and they could feed back the price to me, and then we could all share it together. Does that give me an advantage over Wall Street in an investment commodity? Yes, because what I need is boots on the ground. All of, of, of people like me who say, this is an opportunity. Now, is there a market to resell it? Watch my video earlier this week. And I, I shared with you a gentleman being interviewed by a uh, NBC uh, interviewer who, who showed you a bottle of whiskey. He even had the little tag on it that said it was $50. And then he's saying now it's worth um, Seven thousand five hundred. Did he go and buy all those bottles? I don't believe so. What I believe he's doing is acting as a secondary market for people like me and you. Okay, we find it. We 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 make the good purchase. We contact him and say, "Hey, 
Will you sell this for me? Now, we all got to follow the laws. We got to pay, pay taxes from state to state. We got to follow the laws. But this is an opportunity that I'm exploring. And I'm reaching out to you now and say, let's spend this weekend and search on this and see if Carrie is right. Go to the Alabama uh, ABC store. See the price list. I've, one, one of my followers has said, hey, we got the same thing going on in North Carolina. I know they've got the same thing, I believe, going on in Oregon. There are 17 states. What I'm saying to you is let's, jo- let's form a team, okay? Let's form a community, and let's talk to each other. I'll put together a Discord after I get this done. I'm, I'm actually writing a book that's going to go along with my research that's going to explain to you why this is happening, what the difference of all the alcohols are, how they are made, where the opportunities are and where they aren't, and what past history in this arena tells us. And let's determine together, is this better than the stock market? Is this better than, um, than antique cars? Is this better than real estate? I don't have to check the plumbing and I don't have to collect rent. All I have to do is have the knowledge and put together a team to create the opportunity and the learning. I belong to a, uh, a Facebook club of, of bourbon lovers, and, and, a, and a gentleman uh, just bought uh, a, a whole batch of, what was it, 17, 1792 aged bourbon. Um, if, does he know the arbitrage that's available. Does he know that his $49 bottle will sell immediately in California for $90? Does he know that? And does, does, does the date matter on it? These are the kind of things that we need to know. And if, if we, again, work together, we don't need Wall Street. We can control this commodity through a, a, a teamwork. That wasn't available 10 years ago. There was no such thing as discord. That wasn't available 20 years ago. The internet wasn't developed. You go Google anything, any, any brand of whiskey that you want. Go look at Blanton's. Blanton's, oh my God, the, the, the potential there is, and, and the prices are, are down low. I can buy a $59.99 bottle of Blanton's um, 93 proof and for uh, $59.99, and it's immediately worth $189 in another state. So you don't have to have... $10,000 to get into this. And that bottle, then that, that $59.99 bottle, a, a 1989 bottle of that same whiskey is currently selling for $2,200. How do I know this? I've put the data together. I searched Google and I need your help. Okay, I'm writing this book. It's an e-book about all of this, and I'm sharing all of my knowledge. I'm going to give a thousand of them away. The first thousand people who come to the link that's in my description that says buy whiskey and says, Carrie, I want a copy of your book. Once you get it done and put into e-format, I'll send it to you because I want a team of a thousand people because then I'm going to print the book, sell the book, and I'm going to build a team of 10,000 people. And we're going to control this. Now you might say, God, that's a lofty thought. (laughs) Somebody has to do it. Somebody will recognize the opportunity, and I want to be first in line, and I need your help. Again, I'm, I'm not going to ask you anymore. Go to the link. It's free. 
come with me on this journey, and then we'll create the guide that when we, we walk into any liquor store uh, and, and say, huh, I wonder if that's a fair price, we'll open it up, and with 1,000, 10,000 people feeding us information, we'll know. Do I drink it or do I save it? We'll know. Where's the, what, what's the best buy today? We'll know. That's what the internet is making possible. I was going to do a video today on ChatGPT. There was a damning article in the New York Times. And I said to myself, that's important. I need to, there's plenty of people who you can get that information from. And yeah, I'll do give you my opinion on it at some point. But there's nobody telling you what I just told you in the last 15 minutes. So, this is your opportunity. Are you man enough, woman enough to step up to it? Are you willing to put forth a little help, a little work, and get at least a 33% annual return on your investment? And maybe, maybe you'll get lucky like me and you'll create some wealth for your grandchildren. We'll talk more about this in the future because <laughs> I tell you, sometimes God lays something down and says, are you man enough? Are you woman enough to step up and take care of you and the rest of your family for the rest of your life because of a bottle of whiskey? That's my Pappy Van Winkle. Talk to you again soon. Music